transition on the IEP means the parents, teachers, other team members, and most importantly, the student start to think about and plan for what happens after high school graduation. After high school graduation is now called post-school years. Transitions may look different. For deaf and hard of hearing students, some may plan to work right after high school. Others plan to attend college and need to learn about disability services and others might attend a transition program before turning 21. Self-advocacy skills and language needs to continue to be strengthened. However, self-realization is a process throughout lifetime. It's important to remember that this happens in stages, sometimes starting in middle school or even high school. For those students who receive little direct service time from a teacher of deaf and hard of hearing, it is important to think about information they need in different places, such as work and college. Students may also need more frequent contact from a teacher of deaf and hard of hearing in their junior and senior years when they need to learn about scholarships, disability services, programs and colleges for deaf and hard of hearing students, as well as receive instruction about how to communicate their needs. For other students, they may need to have work experiences to help them figure out what type of work they would like to do after high school. Students may need help planning and practicing and writing down words to say during the workday and how to connect with coworkers and advocate on the job for interpreters or CART and other services. Some hard of hearing students in middle school and early high school years stop using assistive listening devices in the classroom and prefer to only wear their personal hearing aids. They do not want to look different, especially if they are the only hard of hearing or deaf student in class or even in the school. In middle school and ninth and 10th grades, sometimes students turn down support so they feel more independent. They may also feel more fatigued from listening and not do as well academically. During those years, social connections and appearances are more important. As they mature, they may be more interested in remote captioning, using an assistive listening device, and specific classes, especially when they are thinking about visiting colleges, vocational training programs, or work situations that require them to be more responsible for information they are learning. It is important that students in middle school and high school continue to have different demonstrations and trials happen in classrooms. Sometimes they do not want to try specific services in high school, but are interested about that service in college. The pace and rigor of college classes, as well as some advanced or honors high school classes, may cause teams to reconsider what access is available and services such as remote captioning may need to be added. Many schools are using teacher-created videos that are streamed into classrooms. Sometimes these are called flipped classrooms. This means the teacher videotapes the lesson and the students watch it at home. Even students who say they can hear videos without captions should still have captions, especially when they are learning new academic vocabulary. They cannot recognize words that they struggle to hear fully. 
This is an adaptation that should be discussed on the IEP team. It is also important that students ask disability services and colleges about captions for online videos for different classes. It is important students and parents understand laws that relate to training and work after high school. Support and encouragement does not end at high school graduation. Students need to be able to explain the challenges they have in classrooms for disability services in college, as well as for the Department of Employment and Economic Development, DEED, which some students also call Department of Vocational Rehabilitation, VRS. Students at all levels benefit from role playing to prepare them for different scenarios in college and on the job. High school students often know that they should advocate or say something, but they don't know what to say. This also includes students in honors or advanced placement courses. Although they may succeed academically, they continue to need a wide variety of advocacy language modeled for them. Teachers of deaf and hard of hearing students can provide many resources to students and their families, including modeling communication with disability services and making connections with vocational rehabilitation counselors. It helps teams to think about different items that students need to know to prepare for post-school years. Review the sample transition checklist that Metro Deaf School created in Appendix 6, also found on page 46, to help students create a portfolio. That portfolio can be modified depending on the student needs. The Minnesota Commission for Deaf, Deafblind, and Hard of Hearing's Transition Age Collaborative Group produced a transition guide with webinars, which are also a good resource for teams. Check out this link. We hope that the prompts from the transition section will help parents and teachers on IEP teams to plan for the future starting in middle school. We also hope this helps the student and others to understand that transition is a process.